that we filed that notice pursuant to the instructions of the receiver. You know that the companies, all the world knows the companies now in receivership, and uh, the receiver has to be a sort of a jealous guardian of the resources that the company in receivership possesses. Uh, there are the receiver is bringing in uh, as many of the assets as he can, and he has to think in terms of satisfying the creditors of the company. In those circumstances, the receiver did not believe that the company was in a position to continue with that claim against the Attorney General. First of all, if the company had continued the claim, the burden of paying the attorneys who had at the time the claim was filed in acting for the company, the burden of paying them would now fall on the receiver. And so uh, because, as I said, in uh, husbanding, as it were, the resources of the company, the receiver has to be very, very careful, very, very prudent. Um, the receiver decided that uh, the company was not in a state in which it could continue the claim against the Attorney General. Thus, oh, his instructions to us to discontinue that claim, and that's what we have now done. What is important is the fact that the receiver is convinced that the company is not in a position to continue that claim.